Good day, flight simmers. Uh, we are going to be doing a flight from Yonina, Greece to Corfu, the Isle of Corfu in Greece. And we are going to be using the world map to do our flight plan. Simplest and easiest way to do this. So this is basically a short tutorial on how to fly the Beechcraft King Air 350i and do an RNAV landing because Corfu, um, the airport there, does not have an ILS uh, runway, but it does have an RNAV one. And RNAV is quite simple to use really because you don't need a frequency for the runway. Um, you just need to be at the proper elevation or altitude as you approach the airport and we'll cover that in this tutorial. So first of all we have to select our departure which is going to be Lima Gulf India Oscar which is unique. Nah. Set that as our departure. And now we have to select our arrival, which is going to be the Isle of Corfu Airport Code Lima Gulf Kilo Romeo. Select that as our arrival. Now, in order to do an RNAV, we have to use instrument flight rules, and we're going to go low altitude because we're not going to be getting too high on this particular flight and we also have to pick the RNAV runway the only one they have which is RNAV 34 and once we do that you can see it programs in our flight plan with our waypoints and also it shows up here our flight plan and it's, it looks like it's 1949 nautical miles 19 minutes Let's take a look at the nav log. The nav log shows us that we're going to be going to 5,400 feet. I have air traffic control turned on, so hopefully it won't be interruptive, but it'll also guide us in at these elevations. And they may not ask us to go to 5,400. It'll be around that altitude. So with that being said, we're ready to fly. So, some of the graphics and scenery on uh, Flight Sim is pretty impressive. This is the uh, 40th edition version. All the software I downloaded now has that information in it. So, one of the things you'll notice is uh, it used to have flight management system in it as a selection. Now it's GPS. Okay, so here we are at the airport. Let's take a look at our aircraft. The flaps are down 20%. There's the plane. It's a beautiful aircraft. I don't know, they run around uh, $8 million US, I think. Beautiful plane. Maybe they're a little more expensive now. The cost of things going up. Well, let's take a look inside. Parking brakes are on. So when you uh, do it from the world map and you don't select a ramp, you're automatically on the runway with the parking brakes on. So let's just take a look at our altitude here. I'm just going to look at the dash for you. I'm going to pr press control 2. And uh, we got a flight director here. Autopilot. Yaw damper. This is the altitude button. Approach hold. Heading. Nav. FLC mode. This is uh, vertical speed up or down. This is the uh, flight director and that will automatically come on when we put the autopilot on. So those buttons we will be using. Here's your barometric pressure. To set that just press B on your keyboard. You could use this scroll button but if you just press B it'll automatically set it to what it is and it didn't move there so everything's good there. Now let's just set our altitude at 5,000 for now because we know we're going to be going up at least that high to clear those low-lying mountains. There we go. 
Now let's just, we're not going to need to use the CDI scroll for this. Um, we're going to go press control one on our keyboard and we're going to look at this primary screen. It's a touch screen. Here's our speed. Here's our altitude. It's set at 500. So you've got some information across here that you want to keep an eye on. There's the calm setting. It's automatically being handled by the uh, co-pilot and I did that in the settings. So I don't have to worry about uh, changing the audio calm frequency. And you get your waypoints, your bearing distance, your estimated time to get there, uh, ground speed, etc. So I'm going to touch here in the middle with the mouse using the right button or the left button rather and here I want to check the CDI source you don't want it on VOR 1 or 2 for this flight you want it on GPS if you're doing an RNAV or an ILS so that used to be flight management system setting there now let's just click here again with the left mouse button and now I'm going to hit split and now I have a map that's come up so I want to hit flight plan and this is where you would set your nav frequency if you needed to enter one for an ILS landing so let's go back and we're going to look at our active flight plan that we did through the world map so there we go there's our departure and you can grab that little white bar and drag it down and you can see we're headed to Corfu from Unina and it's a approach our nav runway 34 and what's nice is it gives us our elevations which we need for an R nav so at Kilo Romeo 601 we have to be at 2900 feet at Kilo Romeo 600 waypoint we have to be at 1700 so if you're not at those elevations at these points you're not going to pick up the glide path in uh, ILS you'll have a glide slope in RNAV you're going to get a glide path it's going to show up in here and when you pick it up it'll turn green and the airplane will start descending on its own on the right path slope to the runway and you're going to see that happen if all goes well so make sure your throttle is down to idle and I am going to push in the parking brake right here they light up these things when you put your mouse over them they'll light up and tell you what they are so we see the brake is off now so let's um, Go back to primary screen here for a second. Control 1. And um, make sure we have everything good to go. We do. Parking brake's off. Let's go outside and take off. Okay. Here we go. So, start off slowly with your throttle and then push it all the way forward. And like I said, this plane will more or less just lift off on its own when it gets to the right speed. You just heard the tires a little bit there, so I'm lifting off just by pulling gently back and fly straight down the runway. So I'm going to bring up the landing gear. Decimal eight Put seven five King Air one zero seven. Athens Center King Air one zero seven is passing two thousand eight hundred feet, climbing five thousand feet. King Air one zero seven Athens so Center. I'm, I press Control two, 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 two and I'm going to put on the autopilot, the yaw damper, the nav button, vertical speed, and we're going to go up. This is automatically on. So. I'm going to press control 5 and 
I'm going to put up the flaps. Now, using my joystick, press the center button, pull back on it, I get this view. If I press the side button on my joystick, I can see outside. If I grab my mouse and hold down the right button on the mouse, I've got this. I drag and look around. And also, to scroll in and out, I can just use the wheel and the mouse. So you can see this beautiful, gorgeous rendition of Greece, the fields and little towns down below. And there's the airport runway we just took off from. So let's go back inside for a minute. And as you scroll over these uh, buttons, you can see they light up and tell you whether they're on or off. So you want your heading off. You want your nav on. Once we reach the proper altitude, this will automatically shut off. And the uh, autopilot will hold the altitude for us. See, it's on now. The odd damper's on, autopilot's on. So you want to make sure and take a quick look at this primary screen here. You can see GPS is being used. Autopilot, yaw damper, altitude set at 5,000. There's our waypoint we're headed for. Uh, distance 46 nautical miles. 11 minutes to get there, roughly. Ground speed's 252. So, you don't want to get into this red zone. So let's just go outside and check. Make sure everything looks okay. Those flaps did go up nicely, and so did the landing gear. Take a look at the plane and how it's rendered underneath. Beautiful. So, in the settings uh, for your aircraft, when you pick it, you can put your tail number on. You can give it your flight number. Okay, so I uh, have air traffic control turned on and the autopilot's handling that for us. You can do that in your settings. Now for the uh, barometric pressure, like I said, you can just press D on your keyboard and it's 2, 9 or 9 or 2. If it was different, it would automatically change to what uh, air traffic control told you when you press that D on your keyboard. Well, you can see here, we can see the terrain up ahead from this view. Give you an idea whether you're high enough. Well, we're at 5,000 feet. Now, pressing on my um, joystick, I have a button set for air traffic control. So, I can look at what they're saying here. They want us to maintain 5,000 feet. So, that's what we're going to stay at. Uh, until we get to uh, these waypoints when we will have to descend to pick up the RNAV glide path. So, in the meantime, let's enjoy the scenery outside. Oh, beautiful. Gorgeous Greece. So, here we are on the second leg of our Greek vacation. Okay, that's us talking to air traffic control, so we're cleared to our waypoint. I'm going to go inside the aircraft and take a look at uh, this screen here. Control 2, Control 3, and I'm going to zoom out. Okay, so now there's our actual flight path. We're going to come around, swing around, and come in and land.
So for our next altitude, we know uh, we have to be at 2,900 feet for Kilo Romeo 601. So what I'm going to do is set that right now. And you can see it going down right here as I scroll. Okay, 29. So that's all set, but it, we won't start going down to that altitude until I hit vertical speed and scroll this wheel for down and it will set it at feet per minute. You can see that coming up here when I do it. So for now, we're good. Control 7 will bring up this screen. Control 8 overhead. So here we have cabin lights uh, that you can turn up when it's dark at night and you want to get a little better lighting on your instrument panel. Windshield wipers right here. So you just scroll them to turn them on. Well, they're not working right now. Maybe it's because it's not raining. Normally, they'll, the wipers will come on when you do. So I'm just going to go back up there again. And turn them off. So your floodlight, that can light things up inside. Control 1, we back here. A lot of these buttons are, you know, they're not operative. The ones that are will, will give you an indication whether you can turn them on or off. So some of these are just for authenticity for the inside uh, instrument panel. So I have the lights on, taxi lights are off, but these lights are on landing lights are on for the landing uh, left and right. Alrighty, so we're getting near the island of Corfu. So let's take a look outside. So you can see uh, we have the airport right here that we're going to be landing at. And on either side are low-lying mountains. So it's a little bit of a tricky landing for a large aircraft like the 747 or the um, Airbus. But for a small plane like this, it's uh, not that big a challenge. You get lots of runway. We want to watch your speed. We don't want to get into the red. There you'll start getting uh, over speed warning. Let's take a look down below here. Beautiful. Now, if you ever go to this island, and I've been there once, uh, and rent a vehicle and go for a drive, it's spectacular. Um, many uh, olive grove uh, areas to visit where they're harvesting the olives, and uh, it's just beautiful old quaint um, villages that have been there for eons, and they're, they're just so beautiful. The people were very friendly. So we're going to fly out over uh, Mediterranean here and swing around and come back. And then uh, we're going to see how well this aircraft will do on an RNAV landing.
Okay, so we want to cut Descent back on our speed now. Descent and maintain 2,900 feet. Keep speed not above 185 knots. King Air 107. King Air 107, you are 6 miles west of Kirkira. Contact Kirkira Tower on 122.1 when inbound. Tower on 122.1 King Air 107. Kirkira Tower, King Air 1077 miles west inbound RNAV runway 34 approach. King Air 107, Kirkira Tower. Altimeter 29 decimal 9 or 2 wind calm cleared RNAV runway 34 approach. Cleared RNAV runway 34 approach, King Air 107. Okay, we're going to descend now. We already had that set at 2900. So, vertical speed down. And you can see we're descending at 1,500 feet per minute. There you go, right there, it shows up as well. So we need to get down to 2,900 for Kilo Romeo 601 and 602. So we should be able to do that nicely. Got lots of time. Just watch your speed uh, when you're descending. It, it'll pick up. So they, they asked us to stay around 180, not exceed 180 knots. And you can see here that on our GPS, uh, we're pretty much right on track for our flight plan. Planes tracking very nicely. I can zoom in here a little bit now, get a better look. You can hold uh, down on the uh, left mouse button and you can drag things. So it's touch screen. So we're getting down nicely now. This is going to shut off. Already has. Once it gets close, it, it just turns off automatically and, and then the uh, altitude will come on and it'll hold at that. 2900 so watch your speed you don't get down now that you're not dropping the speeds going to go down so watch your throttle and try and keep it around uh, you know 160 until we approach we're going to be landing at around a hundred and four knots with this plane Pretty soon we'll be putting down the landing gear and the flaps. So if I um, press on here, you're going, you can get the, the yoke come up. Uh, sometimes this yoke will hide the uh, landing gear, depending on your angle of view. So all you have to do is press on that to get it to disappear again. There we go. So pretty soon we're going to have to go to 1700. So I'm going to set this now to 1700. Get it ready. And if we don't hear from air traffic control, we can just do that on our own. I think if we waited till we got close to this uh, waypoint here, they would probably tell us to get down to that anyway. So you can see your times here to your next waypoint. In 1 minute and 24 seconds, we will be at our next waypoint. Let's go outside and have a look.
The beautiful King Air 350i. I love this plane. Okay. I'm going to give you a look at the landing from the side here. Go back inside. So, so if I hold the right mouse button down, I can drag around and see the different screens. So we're coming up here. And when we get around here, I'm going to put approach hold on. I'll show you how to do that shortly. So our speed's looking pretty good. Just going to check the barometric pressure again by pressing B on the keyboard to make sure it's set properly. Flipping right along here. Okay, let's put down the landing gear. We're putting some flaps down shortly. I want to get the uh, our altitude down. in one minute. So, vertical speed. Down. As soon as I reach this waypoint here. You'll see here, feet per minute, going to show up. So the aircraft should start turning. Okay, so we're going to go down to get to 1700. Okay, so I'm going to Press Control 2 and we're going to put Approach on. And press Control 1 on the keyboard and you'll see GP came on, Glide Path. Now, when that goes green, we'll have picked up the Glide Path. So we're at 1700 feet set for. We're getting there quickly. So watch your speed. 
I'm going to put some flaps down now. Okay. Okay, flaps down. There's the runway. So, I'll let you have a look at the plane landing. So, it's doing some correction right now, the autopilot. Just going to go back inside and have a look out that window. So we're not lined up right now. We haven't picked up the glide path. So we need to be over here. But the plane should automatically uh, correct itself once it picks up that glide path. So just watch your speed. Uh, don't get too fast. And you're going to be ready to reduce your throttle. So you want to be doing about 104. So let's see if we can pick up that glide path. We're at 1700. So. There we go. We just picked clear it up. You could feel it. And it, it just went GP green. Now the plane is going to correct itself and line itself up with the runway. So watch your speed. Yeah, 10, 109. We're going to land at around 104 knots. I mean, somewhere in that area. It's not that critical. But that's a good speed, 104. So we're lining up very nicely with the runway. But I'm just going to let you have a look at the plane when it lands from this angle and from the inside. So everything's going well right now. Keep an eye on your instruments. Um, and you know, we have the autopilot must be on, the yaw damper's on, approach is on, the nav is uh, now turned off because the approach is taken over. And vertical speed is off because we uh, reached our altitude for that waypoint. Flight director still on. So we are on a glide path right now into that runway, and we're picking up a signal from a satellite for the GPS to do this. So for some of the airports where the ILS system could be down, uh, pilots can use this RNAV. So once again, this video is just instructional purposes for playing the game, not for flying a real plane. It's just for a Microsoft Flight Simulator. I don't want to pretend that this is actually how you have to do all the steps to fly this aircraft. But for the game, this is it. It's pretty simple. It's pretty basic. It's not difficult if you just want to have fun. You can uh, complicate things a little bit more. So we're at 600 feet. So once again, make sure your barometric pressure is correct. I just press B again because that affects the altitude that the plane is reading. So let's take a look out the window again. Oh, it's coming in beautiful here. It's going to be a really nice landing. Oh, look at this beautiful vacation destination, the island of Corfu all the beautiful hotels, resorts, and beautiful villages and countryside. Let's go outside and watch this plane land. So we're at 102 knots right now. Flaps down 20%. Right on idle. And there we go. Just put the brake on. Let's take a look outside through the window. King Air 107, exit runway when able. So this plane does have reverse thrust, um, you know, the propellers will reverse, slow you down, but on a long runway like this, you don't really need it. If you're running out of runway, you could. I have it programmed into my joystick, so I just hit the button on that, and it would put on the reverse thrust. And then you have to shut it off again in order to go forward. So let's take a look. 
at where we're going to go here. So exit at our first opportunity. Yeah, so the next taxiway is coming up here on the right. So I'll get off there. I'm going to put up the flaps. Now I have it programmed into my uh, joystick as well. So I just hit the button on my joystick and the flaps came up. Okay, so we're going to get off here. And then we're going to ask for a taxi to the gates or parking, wherever they'll send us. King Air for, 107, exit runway when able. Yeah. King Air 107, contact ground on 121.705. Okay, so I'm Going breaking to now. King Air 107. So, I'm going to contact ground now. Press the air traffic control button on my joystick. So, tune the ground, request taxi to parking net. They don't have taxi to gates here, it's not an option, so Kirk, we'll take that. Ground, King Air 107, request taxi to parking. King Air 107, taxi to General Aviation parking via taxiway cross runway 16. Now in my settings taxi I have General it. General Aviation parking using taxiway cross runway 16, King Air 107. I have a program in so these blue uh, markers will show up because it's very difficult to read uh, some of the markings uh, in the graphics to know where exactly to go. If you're very familiar with the airport itself, you wouldn't probably have a problem, but these uh, blue arrows really help. So we're going to just follow those to the parking area or the gate, whichever the case may be. So you got her on idle right now. King Air 107 hold position, caution other traffic. King Air 107 continue taxi. Roger, King Air 107. So we're going to be having our bus pick us up and take us to the hotel, Corfu Hilton. Now, sometimes you get little vehicles in the way here, little bugs in the system. I mean, I'll just try and avoid them, making it hard for me to follow the arrows. So you'll get a blue box for all the aircraft usually. And when you get into it, it'll switch to yellow or green if, if you've done it properly. And here we have somebody who's going to direct us, so I'm going to go look through the window. So just try and follow his directions like you would at a real airport. So he's telling us to get over a bit more. Okay, so it just went greenish yellow. So he's saying to go a little bit more and then he'll okay straight ahead don't go too fast okay a little bit more that way okay Boom, stop okay put your parking brake on you can press control delete on your keyboard it'll set the parking brake so we got that little warning on okay thank you very much for uh, coming on this flight with us on the uh, King Air 350i from Unina, Greece to Corfu, the island Corfu. Uh, hope you enjoy your stay and have a very pleasant day. So we're going to shut down the aircraft now. I'm just going to press Control 5 and we'll shut off the fuel and then Control 2, Control 1. 
and uh, master avionics here avionics master switch boom okay thank you very much for joining me on the flight have a pleasant day